Okay, guys, today I'll show you how to restore your iPod Touch if it uh, has any problems. And so, first of all, you need to do is put your iPod in DFU mode. Like, please make sure it is connected to your uh, laptop or your PC. Yeah, it is connected. And then, when you put in DFU mode, it will be totally blank. And iTunes will pop up like this so if it pops up say ok yeah ok you need to download firmware for it and after doing this you need to do a thing like click restore while holding the shift button so it's like or the shift key so it's like this as you can see this hold the shift key here yeah and then click restore so a windows bar will pop up like this and you go where you have downloaded your um your firmware right here as you can see i'm restoring it to 3.0 this one 3.0 yeah and so double click on it and yeah it will start restoring and I will be back as it is done okay so now it's uh, restoring you can read it waiting for iPod and here it looks like this so don't worry it will take some time it will be it will be coming some messages to your PC that it is recognized not recognized to USB don't worry just let it happen and slowly yeah if you better keep your cool and yeah it will be done just wait okay and have patience and yeah I'll be I just told you I thought you might have problems but don't be worried it will it will be done and so yeah you can see it restoring restoring yeah here so I'll be back as it is done okay so when it is restored there might be a message your iPod has been restored and here it might be like connect to iTunes just wait okay see here it is just wait it will happen and yeah see it's all restored now they will ask like if you want to set up it as a new iPod or do you want to restore from a, a backup so it's your wish you can do it like restore from backup and then continue yeah don't worry if they say connect to iTunes just wait and it will be recognized here okay and it's restored so just uh, say yeah if you want from backup and then continue yeah okay the backup cannot be restored to this iPod because it's too old the restore to this so sometimes it may happen like I had happen like I had it 3.1.2 and I did the 3 say okay if you are having the same problem and set it up as a new iPod no problem yeah continue here it is and they'll ask all the informations if you want to sync automatically or manually and say and it's done and see sync in progress and here it comes again a new one like this okay and it's back to normal so you need to be patient don't worry everything will be fine okay and yeah it's done and if you don't know how to put in DFE mode I'll, I'll put my another video and yeah thanks for watching this video